using proportions to solve ratio word problems. In this problem, there are two kinds of numbers, ratio numbers and actual count numbers. The ratio numbers are five and seven. The number 20 is an actual count of the salamanders. Let's read the, the problem. The ratio of salamanders to frogs was five to seven. If there were 20 salamanders, how many frogs were there? So the ratio numbers are five and seven. We have an actual count of the number of salamanders, but we don't know how many frogs there are, so we're going to use the letter F to represent the frogs. Remember that order is very important when we talk about ratios and proportions. So in this problem, problem we're looking at a ratio of salamanders to frogs, five to seven. It's really important that you don't reverse these. We're not given the actual number of frogs, that's what we're looking for. So there are two ways to solve the problem. The first thing we're gonna do in this first example is multiply both of the ratio numbers by a fractional equivalent for one. So the ratio numbers are five and seven. And we're gonna multiply them times a fractional equivalent of one. So remember, a fractional equivalent of one is any fraction in which the numerator and denominator are the same. So we could multiply um, three over three, another fractional equivalent of one is four over four, 16 over 16. Any time a fraction has a numerator and denominator the same, they're equivalent to one. So how do we decide which one to multiply? We're, we want a, a fractional equivalent of one that will result in a numerator of 20 because we're trying to find out what belongs here. So four over four works because five times four equals 20, and then we can do seven times four equals 28. So the actual count is 28. The ratio of salamanders to frogs is five to seven. How many frogs are there? Why? There are 28 frogs. A second way to solve this problem is to cross multiply. So we're going to multiply five times F and we're gonna multiply seven times 20. So let's rewrite the problem. Five F equals seven times 20. Remember when a number and a letter are side by side, they mean multiply. So our next step is to isolate this, we want to isolate this variable, this F all by itself, so that we have an F equals something. So we'll divide both sides of the equation by five. Five divided by five. Five divided by five equals one. So we're left with one F, which really just means F. We divided this, the left side of the equation by five, so now we, now we need to divide the right side of the equation by five as well. We can simplify this problem by canceling. So we can see that both 20 and five are divisible by five. 20 divided by five leaves us with four. Five divided by five equals one. We can do the multiplication problem. Seven times four equals 28 divided by one, which equals 28. F equals 28. There are 28 frogs in the ratio of salamanders to frogs. Let's read our next example. If three sacks of concrete will make 12 square feet of sidewalk, predict how many sacks of concrete are needed to make 40 square feet of sidewalk. So let's fill in our ratio box here. The ratio numbers are three to 12. Three sacks will make 12 square feet of sidewalk. And the problem says we want to make 40 square feet of sidewalk and we're to predict how many sacks. So that's the unknown. We'll call that N. 
If we try to use the first method of multiplying both ratio numbers by a fractional equivalent of 1, we would write our problem like this. And remember, our fractional equivalent of 1 would be something like 2, two halves, 3 thirds, 4 fourths. But we see that 12 does not go into 40 easily or equally. So that's not the best method to use for this problem. So we'll erase that and we'll use the cross multiplying, cross products instead. So we're going to multiply 12 times n and 3 times 40. We can rewrite our problem like this. 12n equals 3 times 40. And to isolate our unknown n, we want to divide this side by 12. And if we divide the left side by 12, we need to divide the right side by 12 as well. So 12 divided by 12 equals 1n, or we can just say n. And then to solve the right side of this equation, we can see that canceling will simplify the problem for us. Both 12 and 3 are divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 1, 3 divided by 3, pardon, equals 1. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 1 times 40 is 40. And then bring over our 4. Now we have 40 divided by 4 which equals 10. n equals 10. It will take 10 sacks of concrete to make 40 square feet of sidewalk.